Hi, you guys. This is Prophetess of Bill Sabrina Acapo, and I am back again, Bill, the leading of the Holy Spirit with another prophetic word for you guys. As with any prophetic word, you would absolutely want to go to the Lord in prayer, testing the Spirit to affirm and confirm that perhaps this prophetic word is for you. Holy Spirit. I invite you in to take full charge, to take full control, to take full access. I decrease as you increase. Allow me to bring forth your word with your glory, with your power, with your grace, with your mercy. Telling your story so your name can be glorified for the winning of souls. To the gospel of Jesus Christ, in Jesus Christ, mighty name that I do pray. Amen, 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 and amen. Title, you guys, of this prophetic word is my words. Bring healing and life. My words bring healing and life. And so, you guys, I'm actually in intercessory prayer a few moments ago. And I'm speaking out into the atmosphere. The Lord's word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. And if his word says it, that settles it. And that his word is sharper than a double-edged sword. It pierces and it cuts. And I began to hear the Holy Spirit say, My words bring healing and my words bring life. And I further heard the Holy Spirit says it brings liberty and it as well brings freedom. Then the Lord gave me the time that I had wrote down earlier on today of 4.22 p.m. Further confirming this word and tying every loose end along with the pieces of the puzzle together and connecting all the dots. Giving me the scripture of Proverbs 4.20-22. 20 with the main focus being on the 422 of Proverbs. So Proverbs verses 4 and 20. My son, pay attention to what I say. Turn your ears to my words. Holy Spirit is saying be in tune. Be in line with his word, with his will, with his way. Listen and be attentive. Be understanding. He is wanting them to absorb and penetrate into your spirit. And this brings healing. And this as well brings deliverance. Proverbs 4 and 21. Do not let them out of your sight. Keep them within your heart. Never let them depart from you nor your mouth keep them around your neck and at the core the center of your heart and as i was writing this down i just heard reuben stuttered song the center of my joy so definitely listen to that song to definitely get a revelation pertaining to this message and some of the lyrics reads jesus you're the center of my joy all that's good and perfect comes from you you're the heart of my contentment. Hope for all I do. Jesus, you're the center of my joy. Says when I lost my direction, you're the, you're the, you're the compass of my way. The Lord wants you to know that when you are down, his words will pick you up. His words will lift you up and his will will fill and overflow your cup. Proverbs 4 and 22. For they are life to those who find them and health to one's whole body. And let me break that down. The Lord is saying to the joints, to the marrow, to the bones, to the bloodstream, every area his word brings health. His word brings wholeness. His word brings healness. And his word brings life. And the Holy Spirit further says every cell, every artery, every vein, 
every ligament, every vessel, every nerve, the inner and outer layer of your skin, every system, every organ, physically and spiritually, and in its entirety, my words bring healing to your mind. My words bring healing to your body and soul. Mind, will, and emotions. My words brings life. My words bring healing and my words bring life. Someone needed to hear this today to let them know just how important it is to quote his words and scripture into the atmosphere because it is your healing and it is your health and it is your life throughout every system, throughout every organ, throughout every cell, throughout every artery, throughout every vein, throughout every vessel, throughout every ligament, the inner and outer layer of your skin, every system, every organ, the Lord is saying in its entirety, in wholeness and fullness, in its completion, it's going to get the job done. Even before you've touched the hem of that garment, just like the woman did with the issue of blood, it's going to make you over. It's going to make you whole along with that faith. It's a guarantee that my words will bring healing and my words will bring life. Thus said the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Like, share, and subscribe, you guys. I love each and every one of you guys. I am constantly praying for each and every one of you guys. Welcome, 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 welcome to all of my new subscribers, you guys. Welcome to the fam. I pray that you were able to get a revelation and an understanding of what this word is saying because I am telling you his word, what it says, it settles it. It is sharp. It pierces throughout every system, every organ. It pierces throughout your bloodstream. It pierces throughout your mind, your body, and your soul, your mind, your will, your emotions. It doesn't leave anything out. It pierces in the spirit as well as in the physical as long as you believe by faith, healing and deliverance, wholeness, fullness, and completion. It is your portion. My words bring healing and my words bring life. And Holy Spirit, right now, I just call you in to take full charge, to take full control, to take full access, to bring forth whoever is needing wholeness and healing in any system or organ or cell or artery or vein or ligament or vessel, mind, body, and soul, mind and will and emotions of their life. Holy Spirit, let your words be a lamp unto their feet and a light unto their path and let them believe by faith that the same way that you did for the one with the issue of blood, even in advance, all it took was her to believe and advance. The Lord is saying, if you would apply his principles and practicalities and believe in advance before you've even touched the hem of your garment, he would make you over and make you whole. That his words bring healing. His words bring life. His words bring liberty. His words bring freedom. His words bring vindication. The Lord is wanting you to know. His word will fully equip you in his word will lift you and his word is faithful and his word is true. My words bring healing and my words bring life in the mighty name of Jesus. Thus said the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take care. I love each and every one of you guys and we will most certainly talk on the next. Be blessed. Take care. God bless you. Bye-bye.